Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooter Scene for Myers Lord about to do the review of something very interesting, something very unique. Not your average firearm. Today I have Utah's UTS 15 Bullpup Pump Action 12 gauge shotgun, 18 and a half, 18 and a half inch barrel. Not one, but two magazine tubes which you can feed interchangeably or from one only. We will talk about all this. So, so much stuff, right? <laughs> this thing is freaking awesome. Look at this beast. Look at this monster. I absolutely freaking love the way it looks, but I also love the operation and uniqueness, all right? Now, as far as my Turkish goes, which is not too far, uh, I'm pretty sure it is Utah and not Utah's. But for the purposes of this video and for because most people call it Utah's, I will call it Utah's. Uh, keep in mind, to kind of reinforce my knowledge of Turkish, I was right about Kanik. It's not actually Kanik, it's Chanik. All right? All right, so uh, let's start the review. So uh, let's start from the very beginning. Uh, we got the grip over here. Very, very nice grip. I do like it a lot. It has a very nice rubbery, sticky feel. Uh, speaking of the rubbery, sticky feel, you do have a very nice rubbery, Pad on the back of the stock, which is excellent, excellent at helping you with this recoil, especially if you're shooting slugs through it, definitely helped with the recoil, this pad, I absolutely love it. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is a bullpup shotgun, this is a bullpup design. What is a bullpup design? Now, the bullpup, the word bullpup, it comes supposedly, supposedly, not 100%, but supposedly, from uh, bulldog puppies. All right, so bullpup, bulldog, puppies. So little, tiny, right? But at the same time, aggressive, okay, and dangerous. And this is what you have here. This is uh, short, look, it fits here with me having a proper grip on it in this little area. The total length is about, what is it about? The total length is about 28 inches. A little bit, tiny, a little bit more than 28 inches. And it has an 18 and a half inch barrel. Think about it, 18 and a half inch barrel, and the total length is only 28 inches. Very, very impressive, but that is thanks to the bullpup design, which means that the chamber is here at the back, actually behind the trigger assembly. So all of the action is happening right here at the back, uh, compared to your normal uh, firearms design, well, no, I can't say normal, so this would be abnormal. Not an abnormal, but compared to your typical, right, regular firearms design where the chamber is sitting right here on top of the trigger assembly right around this area, right? So this is the bullpup design and thanks to the bullpup design you have obviously savings of the total length. You can have a long barrel, uh, 18 and a half is pretty long, uh, but at the same time, um, overall very nice and short and maneuverable. Uh, another huge plus um, of the bullpup, since we're talking about the bullpup and what it is, uh, the bullpup design firearms, is that they do have a better recoil management overall, right? Because all of the action is happening over here at the back, very close to where you have your body as the recoil absorption mechanism, right? So there isn't much of that travel distance for all of that recoil energy to travel and then hit you in the shoulder. No, it's happening very close to the shoulder. So it's very instant, almost like a pass through. Um, so overall, bullpup design is great. I love it, especially, especially in the shotguns. I, I have reviewed uh, a couple of bullpup designs on this channel so far, and uh, I absolutely love bullpup. Great, great. Now this one is pump action. So you do have uh, your handle here on the front. Very nice. Got nothing here, just checking. All right, very, very nice, very intuitive. Uh, not a lot of aggression here. You do have some serrations on the front, some serrations on the back, uh, but it's very nice, it's very soft. I do like it a lot. Um, before I continue with everything, because I'm really excited about the shotgun, let's go to the outdoors range where I did some shooting and uh, do some shooting. Let's see. <laughs> All right. 
right, we are back. Now, let's talk about the trigger since I have this uh, ready to go. Uh, we do have our trigger. Uh, and surprisingly, this one is actually very, very good. Check this out. You do have about uh, one millimeter of safe, familiar travel, and then a crisp break. Check this out in a shotgun. In a shotgun. Millimeter. This trigger is just as good as the one that I had on my. Uh, Bolt action rifle. I mean, it's phenomenal. I freaking love this trigger. Check this out one millimeter and a crisp break. I freaking love it. Now, it does have the safety. It's a manual safety switch, thumb safety switch over here. Uh, safe right here and uh, down to take it off. Now, one thing that I'm not a big fan of here, I have to mention this. Um, as much as I love this freaking shotgun, one thing that I'm not a fan of is the safety is actually ambidextrous. Check this out. Right? Uh, so you would think, well, ambidextrous for safety. It's great for the lefties, for the righties, whatever. Um, it's good. Why, why is it not a good thing? Well, here's why. Because whenever you're using it one hand operation, let's say we have it on safety right here. Check this out. If you have your finger off the trigger here, it kind of lines up parallel with the safety. And whenever you're switching the safety off to the firing position, on this side, you have your finger in the way. Check this out. Not very good. So this is a little something, something. Uh, not a big deal. Honestly, personally, what I would do is I would just cut this freaking thing off and make the safety uh, not ambidextrous, uh, just so that you don't have that little, little tiny more function. But if you are a lefty, um, you're probably like, hey, you know, I love the safety. It's good. Well, you don't care about lefties. No, I, I do care about lefties, but. You know, most of us are right, so whatever. You do, you do have a dust cover uh, with a nice little magnet right here going over your chamber right here. Very nice. I like it a lot with a magnet. Very smart. Um, and there are magnets on the back here too, so it does kind of catches on to it. Now, let's go back to the outdoors range, all right, and do some shooting. And then we'll get back and talk about the most important, most interesting thing in the shotgun. Alrighty, most important, most interesting thing about the shotgun is that it does have two magazine tubes. Check it out how it looks from the front. It looks scary, yeah, all right? I love the way it looks. But it does have two magazine tubes going on each side, and each of the magazine tubes can hold seven rounds. Yes, so this shotgun right here is 14 plus one, all right? The coolest part about this shotgun, though, with those two magazine tubes, is that they are interchangeable. So that means you can shoot either from one side or from the other side or from both sides interchangeably. So let's say you have slugs loaded up, seven slugs on this side, seven box shots on this side. There is this little tiny switch right here. Ta-da! This magazine tube with the slugs. Ta-da! This magazine tube with the box shots. Ta-da! Slug, box shot, slug, box shot, slug, box shot, slug. What a freaking phenomenal thing. I absolutely freaking love this shotgun. This thing is amazing. Now, uh, the way you load it here, to demonstrate, uh, is that the uh, loading chambers, whatever you want to call them, right here, you press this little thing down, it opens up, and you push this little thing to the front, and then you uh, load your uh, cartridges. Same thing on both sides. And like I said, the variety that you can use is pretty awesome. I, Especially, especially, I think, that's the thing, especially with the shotguns, right? Because there is such a variety of stuff whenever it comes to cartridges uh, for shotguns, whenever it comes to ammo for shotguns, this thing is just, uh, I mean, it's just absolute freaking amazing. How can it be better? Can it be better? Um, well, the only thing that I can think of that it make it better is uh, semi-automatic. Yeah, that's it, really. If it was semi-automatic, I think it would be better. But, but, let's come back 
to the things and talk about the things in this thing, all right? So we got our Piketty rail at the top. As you can see, there is currently nothing and that's how you get it. So make sure that you are prepared. If you're buying this little thing right here, make sure that you are prepared with some uh, sides, right? And I mean, it's not a big deal that it doesn't have any kind of sides that it comes with. Um, leaves you with options, right? Do you wanna go with a red dot setup? Like the one that I used to shoot this thing um, on the range, on the outdoors range? Or do you want to go with some flip up sights? Or maybe some lasers or maybe some magnifiers or whatever the hell you wanna do. There's plenty of Picatinny rail, so you can definitely enjoy the variety, all right, of stuff. So let's go back to the outdoors range, do some more shooting, and uh, then we'll try to come up with some uh, reasonable conclusion for this thing right here. All right, so Utah's Utah UTS 15 bullpup, 12 gauge, pump action, shotgun. I absolutely freaking love this. Now these things are Utah's Turkish, that's why I was talking about Turkish. These are Turkish shotguns. And uh, I mean, Tur Turkey, so far they have been pretty freaking awesome. Everything I review from the, from everything that's made in Turkey so far has been pretty freaking amazing and this thing is I mean it's definitely definitely in the top five of really everything that I reviewed on this channel I think just because for the innovation of it you know whenever it comes to this little switch right here and it's so simplistic there is really nothing too complicated all it does really and you can see you can see if you open one of these chambers and uh you look through here through this hole right here you can actually see the switch just basic uh plastic thing that locks the feed of the magazine so it feeds only through this side and then you do this thing and and the same thing happens happens here so very very smart very simplistic design i think this shotgun for a home defense unbelievably freaking good this is an awesome tactical gun considering the dimensions considering the options that you can do do you want to shoot with a slug or your intruder or do you want to shoot uh, your intruder with a freaking box shot or maybe you have a bird shot and a box shot. Or maybe you have a fancy slug, you know, one of them that spins and when it gets in, it actually opens the freaking up. There are those two out there. Like I said, the shotguns, whenever it comes to the shotgun shells, there's crazy variety of stuff out there. And this shotgun is made for most of the stuff like that. So, Utah's UTS-15, Utah. Excellent freaking job. So, thank you very much guys for watching. Let me know what do you think about this uh, shotgun right here, UTS-15 from Utah's or Utah, which is what I think it is. Uh, what do you think about this review in general? If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below. I try to look up for those and uh, if I see the request, I put it on my to-do list and if I come across the stuff, I do it as a priority. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take a freaking thing with me.